Hey guys, uh, so basically uh, Microsoft Program Manager, um, obviously at Microsoft, um, quit Microsoft recently and joined Amazon. Um, but before he did that, he created his own little website called Fixing Windows 8. Um, the URL is called Fixing Windows 8, by the way, so if you want to check it out, go ahead. But when I checked it out, it was down, um, but yeah. Um, anyways, here's the initial rant that he said. Um, basically, he did little notes. I guess you could call it notes on what's wrong with Windows 8 and what Microsoft should address. Um, keep in mind this guy does um, is well now the senior user experience designer at Amazon. So I mean you would have to think that this guy knows what he's talking about, right? Um, but basically he says no tutorials. So when you first launch Windows 8, it just dumps right into a start screen. Um, but this will likely be uh, addressed in the cus consumer release. Um, so I guess you could throw that point out the window. Uh, it's difficult to see all your Metro apps while the start screen shows some of the apps in Metro. Seeing all of them requires a right click and then navigating to the icon that says all apps. Um, yeah, I yeah I guess it's true. But I mean, really, what? I've said this before, I'm saying it again. Um, chances are, if you're using the Metro app, you don't really care. It's, you just don't care. Um, that, there's, no, there's no other way of saying it. I mean, if you're using Metro apps, uh, deal with it. Uh, if you're not, then uh, obviously you care about productivity and you don't really, this point is no longer valid for you. Uh, anyways, the next point, a Microsoft account is required for some apps. A few apps like Store requires a Microsoft account. Hotmail or Live will do to work properly. Um, yeah, that's kind of obvious. I mean, same thing with Apple. I mean, what are you going to do, buy something without an account? That's kind of retarded. Um, like, really, why, why? Obviously, you're going to need an account for the store, really. Um, anyways, next point, scrolling is counterintuitive. The scroll wheel on the mouse scrolls left to right in many metro apps since there's a primary since that's the primary way to navigate in metro. Um yeah, okay, I guess you I guess mouses are going to be screwed up now. You're supposed to decide. I guess scrolling down would go to the right and the scrolling up would go to the left, I would assume. Um basically, next point, metro apps don't have window controls. Yeah, obviously. Uh, there's no way to minimize or maximize a metro app. They take either the whole screen or they're in the background. Uh, yeah, obviously. That's what I'm saying before. If you're using metro, chances are you don't really care about pr um, productivity. And if you do, then why are you using metro? That's, there's no other way of saying it. Uh, yeah, so we'll see this all turns out. But uh, metro is seriously the worst thing to happen to Windows since Windows XP. There's no other, there's, there's really, uh, I don't know. Anyways, we'll see this all turns out, but uh, I think Microsoft is really shooting themselves in the foot with this whole Metro style thing. But it's nice to know that they always have the uh, classic style look at back in Metro. So, I mean, you could always revert back to the Windows 7 feel, I guess. Uh, anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe.